morning, pupils. Okay, uh, my name is Mr. Progress. I know most of you, or some of you know me, right? Yes. yes. My name is Mr. Progress, and you're welcome to British College, Riamira British College. Just like your curriculum entails, you need to see some things that has to do with um, the science um, department. So we'll be taking you around the school. Good morning, Good morning, children. We are, you are all welcome. We are happy to see you this morning. A very tough visit to the school. And this is Ruyamela British College, a college that is said to be like no other. Meet Mr. Soso. What's his name? Mr. Soso. To be one of the tour guides that will be taking us around the place. So that you will not complain that there is no power, hence we have constant power supply. Is that by right there? Yes. And you can build what is here. Dissection of organisms. For example, you want to see the digestive system of a lizard. Will you see the digestive system of the lizard outside the body of the lizard? No. It's inside the lizard. Is that also? You use the scalpel blade to cut the lizard open. That is how your brain looks like. That is the model of the human brain. Then the other one there. Then here, I must tell you, there are millions of things you can learn and see when you come to the biology class. Is that very very clear? And in place of the hand legs, we have a hand leg which you can use to build substances. In place of the hand legs, the microscope is the you. The microscope has replaced the hand uh, legs. And this is just a, uh, this is a one type of a uh, microscope. We also have the electronic uh, microscope. Is that very, very clear? Yeah. Then, just as biology talks about humans, living organisms, plants, we have a thermometer. This is a mercury in glass thermometer. This is what? Mercury in glass. Is iodine crystal. Is that my director? No. Oh, this is iodine crystal. This is a beaker. This is what? The solid iodine in ethanol. They dissolve the solid iodine in what? Is that why you are clear? Yes. Is that why you are clear? Yes. Thank you, Baron. Just show you just this. 
This is Keith's apparatus. Keith's apparatus. If you want to produce a gas in the lab, you know some gases are poisonous. Is that also? You produce it here. You see the gas. And you can collect the gas when you turn on the tap or the valve. Once you open it, the gas will leave. This is a test tube. This is a test tube. This is a test tube bra. That is a conical flask. This is a conical flask. This is a recalculated top. Okay. Yes. yes. This is a burette for measuring volume of acid. This is a what? A burette for measuring volume of acid. The volume of what? Yes. And you do it by sucking the base. I say this is the physics and what? Here we talk about the what? Matter in relationship to what? Energy. And one of the common and useful energy in the world today is the electrical energy. Is that why we have left? And in the lab, we have materials or equipment for measuring electrical and uh, the units of electrical energy. Like this is a voltmeter. This is a what? It's a voltmeter. For measuring, for measuring what? I see the word with and you can see V in it. Is that what it's like? Then you have the ammeter. See ammeter. It's used for measuring current. It's used for measuring what? Then we have galvanometer. Is that what it's like? This can be used to detect very small amounts of current or potential difference. Then we have like, you can see that standard machine there. Or this. this is a rotor stand. A rotor what? Stand. Then quickly... Just a minute. Energy. Is that not so? This is a battery. With this now we can generate a what? Electrical energy. It's just that some of you go out eating there. They are not eating there. Are you sure? If you see sparks, will you know what's wrong? Unless you press it, the light will go off. This is like a switch. You remove it, no current will be flowing through the circuit. You close it, there will be current flowing through the cycle wire for completing the cycle. And uh, I'm glad to be teacher. You are all welcome to Royal Mirror British College. It is meant to it's meant for us to do practical and we do a whole lot of practical here. So each topic that requires practical, we come to the lab to do it. From word processing to data processing to graphics. This is a monitor. The whole set is better as well desktop. Whereas this particular and hard which are holding is the monitor. Then down there we have our 16 units, which are inside the 16 units we have our motherboard, we have our hard disk drive, we have our CD-ROM and other components to the processing device. Then if you bring this out, you're going to see your keyboard. You drag it, pull it out. And your keyboard is dead. So if you want to type, you just pull it out and do your typing and push it in. Then this is our mouse, our electronic mouse, our pointing device. 
Then, on the sixth end unit, we have a whole lot of things there. Our network is there. And the, sixth, uh, the school lab is wireless connected. So, the net box system, the network system which we run in the school is wireless. You don't get to see plenty cables all around, RJ, 11 connectors, and there is no, it is wireless. And the back there, there is a router which provides internet connection. We have a router at the back. So this is a router, and it provides internet connection for us. I is connected. It's a router, and the whole infrastructure is being networked wirelessly, so you don't get to see plenty of cables. Oh, good morning once again. I heard someone say, good morning, Mr. Focus. I think you said so, right? Give me a final I don't know if you can still remember my name. Okay, let's let's take all the names together. One, two, go. Take your life and finish it. Okay, can we? Yes. Okay. Now you are welcome to Royal Mira British Cardinals. How many of us are excited with the talk? You like what you saw? How many of us saw the skeleton? Okay, I want to let me see how many persons actually saw the skeleton. Wait, I get my question. This is my question. The skeleton you saw, and I, who is taller? Am I taller than the skeleton? Or the skeleton is taller than me? Okay. I'll give you the answer. The answer is, I'm actually taller than the skeleton. <laughs> 